was an absolute complete balls up. For those who have uh, who watched the the episode on um, budgeting around Australia that uh, Laura and I put together uh, probably a month ago, and then we sort of went into detail about what we do for work and all that sort of stuff. And I, at that time, I was restoring a table, really old table, uh, for this lady, and I just wanted to show you how it come up because I don't know you might be interested. If not, that's cool as well. Um, I'm also just about to head out to buy an Evercool fridge from Tent World, I believe. I'll go and purchase that from them. And I might have a look around the store, see what they got. Getting back to it, here's this, this table. Hopefully she's happy with it, but yeah, it's an old, very old Baltic, Baltic table. And uh, a fair bit of work went into that. The whole thing needed re-gluing. Um, the mechanism underneath needed fixing so that's all repaired it winds in and out really easily now the leaf wasn't the original leaf for it that goes in the center we had to um, route it around there and make make it look very similar so yeah they'll pick that up in a few days and hopefully one day I can retire and stop doing this yes I'm in uh, Laura's car at the moment and um, every time I hop in here, we get a little bit frustrated <laughs> every single time because we got this chip in the windscreen which occurred, I think, oh, on our way back. Anyway, might have been in Victoria, might have just happened as we come back in, I can't really recall. But yep, ah, still there. Still there waiting to get fixed. And uh, why Laura's a Laura's she's better to change gears. Oh. <coughs> Trying to deal with the camera. Whilst Laura is swanning around in the Land Cruiser with the good aircon, the good heating, the good everything, and I've got to look at this dot. Anyway, I should stop whinging. I'm going to edit this video and rip me a new one. Alright, let's go and get this fridge. Apparently they've got heaps in stock. I could have ordered it online, but I figured what's the point? Let's just go and pick it up. I like the old school way. <laughs> Missed the old turn off. Thankfully, we've got a little cut in the fence. Let's roll through here. I'll probably be stuck in here for an hour, I reckon. <laughs> it's not always that much gear to look at. That's the angle one, that's only 30 litres. It's not quite big enough. Here's, here she is. Changed a bit, they never used to have this plastic bit on the top, it's a good idea. I like it, let's lock it in. <laughs> that was quite funny, I walked in there, I'm not obviously not near Fern Tree Gully where we live, and um, someone recognised me from the channel, and I thought, I actually thought he worked there, and I was like, oh. You know, nice to meet you, blah, blah, blah. Nice to meet you, Rob. Anyway, if you're watching, Rob, um, thanks for offering me a discount, <laughs> but I didn't need it. Uh, paid full price, so that's all good. I'm going to get it in. In here, because I think Laura's got the keys for this. Oh, no. Happy days. All right, let's lock it in. And, um, yeah, he's just <laughs> explaining to me that he really loved the channel and he didn't want to be filmed, so... Um, that's all cool. Uh, yeah, so that's quite interesting. It's, it's kind of funny, we love people when they come up to us, but it's it's still getting used to that fact that actually people recognise you and know and know your face. And um, yeah, it's a it's a weird feeling, but it's always great to have a have a yarn. And he was telling me about his battery system and his setup in his car. So um, keep watching, Rob, and thanks for subscribing, mate. You're a legend. Oh, 
I'll bugger this. Let's try and see if I can get this windscreen fixed. Ooh, I've got a little bit of time up my hands. So I might surprise Laura and get this fixed. But I'm just gotta find the place. Well, that, that didn't go really to plan. It's pretty much what I figured because it's in the line of eyesight. It's not really roadworthy. There'll be a, like a cloudy mark, she said, if we were to try to fix that. And if we decide to sell the Nissan, if we decide to sell it, then obviously that won't pass the roadworthy. Plus, you don't want to see a smudge mark right in the middle of your line of sight anyway even if you don't sell the car so the second alternative and that costs 165 to do that the second alternative is a new windscreen which is only like 435 so I'll speak to Laura about it and see what she thinks I'm tipping it'll be a new windscreen anyway let's go and get this fridge in can't wait I need to put some beers in there hook it up to the lithium The upgraded version of the Evercool, um, I think this one's called a Performance. Uh, the, the previous ones I had before, I, I used to love them. Um, was, I only changed them because of the configuration that I, was, that I had in the ute. I love the fact that you don't need a fridge slide, that's extra weight, it's compact, it's very easy to install. And I love the new addition, how they've got this. So far, so good. But time will tell. I remember with the last light, I had to change, I had to put Loctite on all the draw runners because they rattled loose. So I wasn't completely happy with that. But then once I Loctited it, it was all good. And that was taking it through Cape York and plenty of cor corrugations. Um, that was two fridges as well. We're only gonna have one this time. I won't lock tight them yet. I'm just going to see how it goes. Really love the back of this. Like, look at that. Pre-wired in Anderson plug. They didn't have that last time. It was just two leads straight out. You wired it up yourself. Um, the box isn't as big as beforehand as well. But that is that is a ripping idea. That's a good start. Just about to put this fridge in and uh, so I've just extended the, the bench across a little bit, measured where it sits and it actually fits quite well there because it gives you room to put something down here if you like or I can even in the back there you can uh, mount a compressor down the track. Um, the other thing is I can still, still access the jack which is super important. And then all I need to do is run an Anderson lead straight to the battery. That's all not the present. Laura. Laura's had a tough day at the office in the air conditioning. Like any setup that you have in your car or your caravan, you can try to get it perfect, but it's never there's always something you need to compromise on. And in this particular case, it was having a nice big drawer to store all our gear. 
for day trips and stuff. We need to cull some of that stuff out of there, but for day trips, um, we've still got room for recovery gear. There's still plenty of room down the side here for perhaps fishing rods or something like that. Um, we've got room up here that we can put some bags and things. And then Coco gets the Taj Mahal, as usual. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. Let us know what you think in the comments. Um, would you do anything differently? That's a self install of the 300 series <laughs> right at you, right there. That's all the gear that we had anyway, apart from the fridge that I just purchased today. Um, the drawer we already had, already had this cage. So that was manufactured to, to suit Coco. We already had the battery system, the 200 lithium. We already had the inverter, the 2001 inverter. So we might as well use the gear and make it fit. And I think it's pretty good. Mm, what do you think? Good job, Tom. Hmm. It, um, I'm a little handy man. We need, to, <laughs> we need to work out the weights as well. So yeah. these are the things that uh, you do along the way and make sure everything's full. And then we'll weigh the car and make sure we're not over our GVM or our GCM for that matter. Set on four. We'll see how long that takes to get to two. Yeah, that is. And when that's running, that's definitely quiet. Well, there you go. So that's been running for 35 minutes. We're at 12 degrees. But keeping in mind, there's nothing else actually in the in the fridge, so it's got to cool the whole area down. We'll see the um, the battery. Is at 89 percent, but I didn't check that before it was put on. So we're just about just putting the final touches to the uh, 300 series. And I was looking at that insulation that you put on the inside of the windscreen. You have the silver side out. It actually keeps this whole area nice and cool, which is great for a couple of reasons. One, the fridge. You want to try to keep the ambient temperature around the fridge really cool. And the other is uh, also Coco being in the back of the, the car. We want to keep her nice and cool as well. So we want to put that on the window on the inside. There's a number of ways you can get this stuff. Uh, you can order it on online, eBay, um, but I found some heat, heat um, and fireproof. Well, actually, Laura found it, I should say. Heat shield, that's what it's called. You get this from um, Auto Barn, okay? And it's basically, it's like a sound dampener for, your, for the inside of your car. It's about, yeah, 1.5 meters by a metre all up and it's, you just cut it with the scissors um, and I think it's about six to nine six to nine mil thick. Anyway we weren't going to we initially weren't going to use it because what it's got on the silver side it's not the sticky side it's the actual black side that's the sticky side so in a car you will have that if you're putting that down as a, de um, a sound proof mechanism you put the the sticky side down which is the black side and the foil side up. Now, when you do your windows, you usually have it the opposite way around. So you have the foil side sticking out so the sun actually reflects off it. But personally, I don't really like the look of that silver when you're driving around. I've seen it a few, a few on some of the other cars and stuff and it just doesn't look that great. So I think it's still gonna insulate it just as, just as well. But I'm gonna put the black side sticking to the window and the silver side on the inside. And that, my friends, will be the final finish of the rear setup of the 300 series Land Cruiser. The dog cage was a bit of a mission, but we eventually got it sorted out. So I fabricated all this, extended here because Coco was putting her head around and wanting to get out, and also put this stability bar across the top here. And we might even close this part here. We're just going to see how she goes. Um, and I'll put a netting across across here. Just so when we when we open the rear of the car, she's not just going to jump straight out. You know, we could be on a highway or whatever, and we need access to the fridge or the, the drawer or whatnot. So we want to make sure that she is um, locked off in there and she, can't, she won't just jump out. And the other thing I've done is I've got a chopping board for just fits nicely in between the fridge 
and the dog cage. Last but not least, I will uh, run a cable to the front battery, uh, have a circuit breaker from that front battery all the way to the rear battery, and that'll run the DC to DC. So that's the plan. All right, I'll get into it. Was an absolute complete balls up I don't know how I got that wrong I was just totally not sure what I did there but I've, I'm you know probably 50 mil short either side of that window um, yeah bugger because I'd previously cut out the two for the side windows now I'm struggling to cut the last piece out I'm gonna have a gap right here in that in that top corner so what i'll do is i'll cut this piece out utilize what i've got and and this one here can just be maybe my new shades i don't know we'll use it for something I'm sure there's always bits and pieces that you use all right so i'm going to cut this out um Hopefully, she fits. I measured twice, cut once this time. She'll go up there. The other, the side walls have turned out all right. There and there. And the other great thing about this is it adds a bit of um, security, I suppose. You can't really see what's in the back. Not that it matters too much. Oh, I haven't shown you what. Uh, my lovely partner Laura did the other day. Um, to say I was impressed was probably an, an understatement. Look at this. OMG, what do we have there? That's right, it's a hole in the leather. <laughs> oh God. At the end of the day, look, it's only a car. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, shit happens. I'm sure I'm going to damage it along the way as well. The, the benefit of it actually happening there is this whole piece can come out. And, and we can have that replaced. So, I'm not sure how much it is. Got no idea. Um, but it doesn't matter, really. So be it. We try to look after our things. Um, sometimes things just happen. What, uh, she was closing the door and we had Coco's cage in there for when, when sometimes she travels, because I didn't have that ready, so it's probably my fault. <laughs> and the cage was in the back seat and it wasn't fully in properly and she tried to slam the door and it um, poked a hole. Right. All right, sorry, the battery went flat. As I was saying, <laughs> sorry, Dolan had to throw you under the bus there. But never mind, we show it how it is and sometimes I make massive stuff ups and and um, yeah, it's got to own up to it. Anyway, I'm done and dusted here, the insulation is in. You can hardly even tell where I made a mistake here. This fits quite, quite snug around here, so that'll give, give Coco a lot more um, Keep the sun off her. There you go. So the car aesthetically doesn't even really change that much. Just keep in mind if you do use this dampener, this sound dampener stuff for your windows, it does have this plastic here, and this is very sticky foam, which will 
if you ever want to take it off your window it'll a lot of it will stick to your window so um, I'm not too concerned about that if we ever want to take this off all we'll do is um, just get some methylated spirits and rub it over on the inside of the windscreen and and remove that that foam but at the end of the day I think it'll just stay on here forever ever because yeah it's going to serve a few purposes which is great and that's it for the car let's uh we need to get away been meaning to get away we wanted to go up to the murray but obviously there's some massive floods up there at the moment oh it's just devastating for people that way hopefully hopefully everyone um everyone's safe up there and uh and come out out of it not too scathed but in saying that what we'll try to do is get away somewhere local take our van out test the car make sure coco's fine this is ultimately this is for our big lap that we're going to do and that takes time so some little quick trips here and there is what what we're doing at the moment we're fortunate enough to have this car worked hard for it and everything else so we'll build on this car we're going to put some airbags on it um a new bull bar eventually we'll get the gvm upgrade but we really want the gcm upgrade so the gross combination mass for the the towing the van as well Never mind, all in all, we'll get, uh, keep chipping away and uh, keep bringing you guys videos and hopefully you like them and thanks for all your feedback and your comments. Uh, it means a lot and yeah, we'll just keep chipping away. We'll see you in the next one.